Well, hello, folks. This is about the third video I started uh, in the last couple week or so. Uh, I don't know what I'm gonna. I don't even know if you're gonna see this one or not. Uh, but anyways, I'm trying something tonight. I'm gonna have uh, two rigs going, or I'm gonna practice with my rig here. I might practice with some new software to use, and I'm gonna show you my other rig in a second. What I've got going on here. The reason I'm not. I'm all haphazard is the weather the weather is we find the weather has been horrible we finally got a nice cl it's clear right now and it's supposed to be clear for the first cup for the start of the evening but i'm not sure how long that's going to last i've already started one object but that's not going to be visible till 10 o'clock in the evening and it may be clouding over by then and the moon's out so i you know, I'm sort of limited, and anything that I really can go after with narrow band, I can't really see with uh, my current field of view. So that's why I'm going to do some practicing with this rig. And if it does stay clear, I can, and it's clear later on, I'll go back to and uh, start or continue with M106, which is a nice, beautiful galaxy, which is what I'm currently in the process of doing. But let me go show you what I'm. What else I'm doing? Well, folks, this is my second rig that I'm running tonight. I've decided to activate my outside in the lawn area because it, the weather is so nice. And what I've decided to try to do tonight, since the moon's going to be out and blocking everything, I just decided to go after that comet, that uh, C2119Y4 comet, and that's going to be visible in the north, so it's away from the moon, sort of, and it's, I don't think it's going to be affected too much by the moonlight, but uh, like I said, I haven't had this activated this year yet, so uh, I've had to do a bunch of stuff, and I've got my old uh, ED80 out uh, working that, and I've got the my uh, Canon DSLR, the T3i, that Hap Griffin modified for me years ago. So we'll see how this works. I, like I said, um, I, I think I've got all the bells and whistles. It's been a, it's been a while since I've been out here, so I had to, um, you know, you can, you can help me right now. I've, I've got the power, the computer, the power cord for the camera. I've got the mount. And this is the power for the mount, so I've got to go get that. Thank you. You have helped me out because I, almost, I completely forgot about that. But I do have the cable going to the computer from the mount. So that's all set up. And I've got my old computer that you can take a look at. I don't know if you can actually see it. That's my 10-year-old computer that runs everything. So anyways, we'll see if you end up seeing this video or not. If, if I have some success with this comet, then we're all good. Anyways, we'll see you in a while. Well, hi, folks. I'm back. It's next night, and I got something, so I'll show you go over that in a few minutes. First, I just want to go over a couple problems I had. Well, the main problem I had was my SynScan hand controller that Trevor Jones uses all the time and loves. Uh, I like these two, actually. I'm, I'm only kidding. But... Um, Last year I had I was working fine with this thing where I had this wire and it connected up to the computer. And when I went to use it this time around, for some reason, it wouldn't connect up to the computer. Now, in the wintertime I added EQ Mod to my system and so maybe that had some effect on it so it would no longer use this, this hand controller, but I was really bummed about it. And I was trying for quite a while to get it to work, and I couldn't do anything. So finally it dawned on me, why don't I go inside, or go into my shed and take the EQ Mod Direct cable that I ordered from Pegasus Astro, and I hooked this uh, cable up to it, and it worked fine. So I, I didn't use my SynScan, or I can't use it for, for whatever reason. Anyways, so I went and purchased a, ordered another uh, SIN scan, um, the, another EQ Mod Direct cable so I can use uh, that mount for outside when I go outside now. Anyways, as I said, this was a test run and I'm really glad I did this test run even though my 
uh, comet image didn't come out super great, but it was, like I said, I, I was very happy with uh, uh, setting this up. Well, howdy folks, I'm back and I got something. It's the next night, so, uh, you know, I'll show you my image that I wound up with. So here is after I stacked it, yeah, you know, I wound up with 99 30 second shots and it's kind of pretty grim there, but you do see the comet. I did the noise reduction on it. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, I did automatic background extraction and then I did some noise reduction later. Okay, and so it looks a little better. And here's some more noise reduction that I did in PixInsight. Okay, let me show you what it looks like after I brought it into Photoshop. And this is my final image. So not too bad. It looks okay. I mean, it wasn't, like I said, this was only a test image. I was unable to stack it the way I really wanted to. I really wanted to do it so it just stacked it right on this, right on the comet itself. And I would have gotten a sharper image, but it uh, it didn't work out. But I'm I'm happy with this, as I said. One other thing, some people were asking me, how do I get it to plate solve onto the comet? How was I able to find the comet in the first place? And let me minimize this, and I'll show you what I did. I did it with Stellarium. Here's my Stellarium. So Stellarium found the comet, and it's not really in Stellarium a lot of these comments. So you have to go to the configure window and then you would go down to plugins. Here's the plugins. You can do all here's what first pops up and then you go over to plugins. And these are all your plugins. So then you're going to go to solar system editor, click on it. And this has a bunch of objects in here already, these minor solar system objects. And if your object isn't here like a comet, you'd have to add it. So you come over here to where it says import orbital elements in MP format, click on it. And then you are going to come over here where it says, um, oh, here, you can enter asteroids too if you want. But I was after a comet, so I'm going to click comet. And then it says select the bookmark. And you're going to do MPC's list of observ observable comets. It updates this list so it has the most up-to-date information. So click on that and then go get orbital. And then here's a list of all the known comets. And the comet that we were after was C2019-1. Atlas. And it was, oh, here it is. I'm sorry about that. It was right in the beginning. So anyways, uh, that's how you would, uh, enter your comet into Stellarium and let me show it to you. And it's pretty hard to find. It's somewhere. Oh, here it is. You know, let me take away my... There it is. So there it is. So that's how you would enter the comet. And then what you can do is you can click on it and just uh, enter the RA and declination into whatever program you use to plate solve with, whether it's APT or Sequence Generator Pro or any of the other ones. Okay. Well, that's all I have for you. I hope this is helpful, and we'll see you later.